Have you recently purchased a new herd sire? Well, what now? First thing we need to do is to isolate this animal when it's first brought on the farm. Uh, hopefully it's been vaccinated and it's not going to be bringing any diseases on the farm, but it's just good practice to bring an animal in, have it isolated about 30 days to be sure that uh, we don't have any major health problems. Uh, during that time, uh, I think it would be good to check to see what vaccinations that that animal has had. And uh, then from there, if anything additional is needed, to go ahead and get that taken care of because we want the bull to be immunized just exactly like the cows are in the herd. Uh, next thing we need to take into consideration is what uh, is the condition of the bull. Is he fleshy or is he relatively thin? And uh, from there then, we'd be needing to make adjustments uh, in the feeding program. If he's in good thrifty condition, we just need to keep him growing and, and have him uh, kind of moving along, feeding maybe one, one and a half percent of body weight and grain so that uh, we have him in good shape when he gets ready to go out in the breeding season. We do know that once he does get out the cows, he's going to be losing weight, so we need to take that into consideration before he's turned out. However, if you have a bull that's been uh, fitted or you have a bull that maybe has come out of the test station that's carrying a little excess flesh, uh, it would be advisable to put that animal, quote, on a diet so that we get a little bit of that excess flesh off. Uh, a fat bull, when you put him out the cows, is just simply not going to have the stamina that he needs to get out there, detect those cows that are coming into heat, and then take care of the ones that, uh, that are uh, ready to be bred. Uh, on the flip side, if that bull is, is too thin, we need to be sure to give that bull some additional feed. And this can't be done just two weeks before he's ready to be turned out with the herd. We need to give us 30, 45, maybe even 60 days so that we can uh, have time to get some condition on that bull and then he'll be in much better shape to go out during the breeding season. If he's too thin, he's not going to have the stamina but another consideration is if he doesn't receive adequate nutrition, he may not be producing enough sperm so that he's going to be as fertile as he needs to be once we turn him out with the cows. Because the whole idea for having that bull is that he settle as many cows as possible and we have as many calves as possible in next year's calf crop. Uh, as we think about what we need to be feeding uh, these bulls, if it's one, say, that came out of the test station or something like that, uh, it's highly advisable to feed that bull a ration very similar to what uh, he has been on. Uh, if it's a bull that uh, we've had on the farm, just needs some additional condition on him, then uh, it may be some feeds that we can gradually move uh, that bull up to, and it's not going to cause a digestive upset. That's a big thing we need to be of concern concerned with because if we make a major change uh, uh, we can sure sure mess up that gut real quick like. Uh, again what we want to do is be sure that that bull is going to be ready for that breeding season and some proper conditioning is going to be very critical in getting that done. If you need some additional information regarding rations or anything else about uh, conditioning this uh, new bull that you've just purchased contact your local extension agent.